Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Um, sorry it's been so long since my last video. Um, I've just been really busy, um, just stuff all over the place, but I want to get back and uh, doing some decent videos for you guys. So today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Black Guard of Baradour. Now here I've got the command and a warband's worth. So here I've got like 12 models and the command set. So let's just um, get these guys open. So in each of these sets, uh, this comes with four models. Now I've already got this open before. Um, so just to take a look at it, I couldn't really wait. So what's in this box? Now in this set one of the swords has broken off but I have it, it's in there. And I can fix that with no trouble. So here are the black guard. Now these guys are very have a lot of uniformity in their units, there's no ragtag because these are the Black Guard and the, the elite warriors Urukai of um, of Mordor. They have the same uniform and it's a bit more um, precision in what they do. So as you can see from here you've got the armoured chest plates. They have the eye, eye of Sauron on if you can see from there. And then you've got the long chainmail. Now this is quite heavy chainmail. And underneath you've got the the boots, the armed boots. And these rounded helmets. Which are quite Urukai-ish, but um, without all the features. And then the back you've got these long flowing cloaks. Now there should be a sword on this guy, but he's on they're all intact there. And here we have is this a duplicate? I think it is, yeah. So it's the same guy. So like again, um, all the same details, just a slightly different pose. I'm gonna have to do some conversion work on some of these because otherwise they'll be in very, very similar poses. Um, but that's the standard guy. And obviously it comes with four bases. And the biggest selling point of these models is their shields. They have massive shields with the Eye of Sauron on, which is really cool. If you can see that, that's where their arms go in. And here's the shields themselves. So very nice indeed. And as you can see, there's four more and another four. Okay, so that's the standard sets. Uh, they're all the same, so no point showing you through those ones. And here is the Blackguard Command. So what do you get in the Blackguard Command? Let's open up and see. So we have the bases. And here we have... Now this kit comes with one standard guy, which you've already seen. I'm very pleased with the detail on these. It seems to be very little, uh, air, very little air bubbles and messes. But this comes with a drummer. So that's the drum there. So as you can see, lovely detail. There's a little peg. Do not cut that off. And that fits into this guy here. Is the drummer carrying bone with the drum on, and there's his sword and his billowing cloak. Second is, or third, is the banner bearer. Now, this guy is there standing, standing still, and here is the banner. So, much like the shields, this has a big emblem as well, and it has a head on the top, which is quite funky. And then there's the two hands, two hands and one, one of the arms, sorry, holding it. It'll need a bit of repositioning, as with all resin, but not bad at all. And there's the, the sword 
for the captain, and this is the captain model. Now the captain model is a massive crest, I really like this, and it's a very nice uh, commanding pose. With the sword arm raised. So guys, here we have 13 normal guys, one drummer, um, a banner bearer, and a captain. So without further ado, I'll get them all cleaned up, assembled, and um, we'll get back to you in the next half of this video. And welcome back, guys. So, uh, in front of you, you've got the um, the Black Guard Baradour all made up. Now, as you can see from um, a unit point of view, they look very formidable with these massive shields and um, just the way their armor looks and the uniform. So, I'm going to tell you a few little points about them. These were actually really fun to make. Not a huge amount to do. Um, and quite little cleanup really. There's a lot underneath, like sort of where they join to the um, the resin and the junction ports. But apart from that, there was very little cleanup. The shields had a bit as well. But uh, as you can see, these are all on my resin bases. Um, so this is like a, a Kirithungal, Barador, Osgiliath kind of city base look. So I'm looking forward to painting these for sure. Now I'm going to be including some of these in my um, Stockport 2.0 600 point army list. Um, so um, let's run through what we've got. So the weapons they come with are these kind of Urukai swords. So, a few things about their uniform, massive shield, quite um, detail, well not much detail on the helmet but that adds to the model, um, really long flowing cloaks, each one of them has got a really nice cloak, lots of detail on, um, huge mail, chain mail, and that is quite similar to the armour that the war leader has himself. You can see that. There we go. Very similar armor style. Um, so what else? Um, they have a chest plate with um, the red eye of Sauron on, and armored legs, and the hair coming down the back. So there's three positions. This one, then you've got. Um, this one there we go. this one and last of all we have this one they are the main troop types and also we have the banner bearer the banner bearer is fantastic the detail on the banner is super and really flowing with the head on the top and the cloak. Just love the models. And you've got the the drummer. Now I filled in an air bubble at the front, but I wanted to smooth it out, so I used a bit of milliput. That's still curing. Um, and so he's got the his sword there, which is quite nicely detailed. and uh, a bone um, for the drumstick and it's slung round his shoulder and the attach point there and last of all the captain now this has a special helmet and a slightly different body with a, a raised sword I really like the helmet on this very commanding and just really sinister so but you might say, Matt, there's some weapons there and some changes in positions. Yes, because I've converted some up. So, whereas a swordsman is like this usually, I've converted some to have different weapons, like maces and mauls. I didn't put any axes on. Um, 
I didn't think the feel of them suited axes or I didn't have any axes that would suit that sort of style. Um, but I've only used three different types because I didn't want to um, go away from the fact that they are a regiment with um, all their different, uh, well, the same uniform. Um, and that's another mall. And these malls are from Redbox Games. And if I just go over there, um, I got five sets of them. So I'll be doing a video soon on those um, weapons themselves and a review of the weapon sprue that you can buy. So some more positions. So if I go around. One, I repositioned the hand. I need to sculpt over the chainmail again, but it shouldn't be too hard. Um, this one's got the same. I just swapped out the sword for a maul. This one hasn't been converted, so just a standard one. Let's move them out of the way. Um, this one, I cut off his head and move it so he's looking upwards slightly and change the weapon again this one I put the shield on his arm rather than on the end just so he's got like a like an arm position like that over the top and change the weapon as strength 5 models these are really great for um, while holding weapons such as that because of their sheer strength and um, I did the same with that part of the arm um, same again but I also raised the arm on this guy so he's got it slightly held up and the head position no that's the same still now this one I tilted the head towards this